a snow-covered stadium in Orchard Park, New York. We're still digging out from a weekend blizzard and a delay of 27 and a half hours to kick off. Yes, can you find your seat? It's an amazing scene here as Josh Allen and the Bills get set to host Mike Tomlin Steelers next on CBS. It's wild card weekend, and it continues with a 7-2 matchup. The 7 seed Pittsburgh Steelers, winners of their last three to make it into the postseason against the AFC East champion Buffalo Bills, the 2 seed. A Steeler win would send them to Baltimore next Sunday night. Meanwhile, if the Bills hold serve here, they would host last year's Super Bowl champions, the Kansas City Chiefs here next Sunday night. Hello, friends. Jim Nance, Tony Romo, Tracy Wilson, Jay Feely. It feels like four degrees right now. You've been down on the field, Tony, and these conditions, I mean, what's it going to be like for the players out there? It's cold, I can tell you that, and the wind, even though it's minimal, it actually does affect it in, this, in these conditions. But this is why you drafted Josh Allen. He can knife it right through this wind, and he's played incredible in these conditions. These are two mentally tough teams in this environment. I expect it to be a great game today, Jim. In the way Josh has played this year, led the league in total touchdowns with yeah. 44. What about him? Well, I mean, he's been exceptional, but he's also, like, right there at the top in turnovers. I mean, they're 16-0 since 2020 if he doesn't turn the football over. That's the key today. If he doesn't have a turnover, the Bills will win this game. But he's Josh Allen. He's going to have a chances for the Steelers. But I really believe he's the difference maker, Jim. Well, Mason Rudolph's been a difference maker for sure the last three games. He gets the start and leads them into the postseason. Your expectations for him today? Well, he's been exceptional. He's been playing in three straight playoff games. And right now, this is his chance. A young guy, you go win the game at Buffalo in the playoffs and no one expects it, that changes the trajectory of your future. Well, let's go down to the sidelines real quick. And a warm welcome to you, Tracy. Well, Jim, I'm anything but warm right now. But there are blue skies behind me. And this field looks absolutely perfect. But let me reiterate, there was no chance they could have played this game yesterday. About three feet of snow jumped here at Orchard Park till 4 a.m. today, making it extremely difficult for anyone to come in and be able to clear this stadium. Now, the field is clear, but the seats still have a ton of snow on it, so we're expecting some snowball fights today. How all of these conditions, how the weather, how the schedule changes affect these two teams remains to be seen. Well, we're just minutes away. Thank you, Tracy, and these uh, diehards, they've come out. In full force, as kickoff is next on CBS. CBS Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. This will be a backbreaker for Buffalo fans. Hurts to the end zone, and the Eagles have won it in overtime. And this is embarrassing. We can't play football like that. They're in must-win territory now. Bone to be wild. Cut by Pickens for a Steelers touchdown. Bone to be wild. Cut leaps into the end zone. Bone to the be Pittsburgh wild. Steelers win in Seattle. Bone to be wild. The playoff hopes remain alive for Buffalo. Yeah, mama gonna make it happen. The Bills, for the fourth consecutive year, are AFC East champions. Pittsburgh will clinch a playoff berth. That's what I want to do today. Dominate. Josh Allen, the beast, has been released. One game at a time to go try to win a Super Bowl, and that's it. Right back at it, man. Let's go! Welcome to Super Bowl Wild Card Weekend, presented by Verizon. Born to be wild. 
Brian Maher putting that opening sequence together. Ting it up for the Steelers and the Bills. You heard Josh Allen there said taking one game at a time. They've been doing that since going 6-6, six and six, starting with a win at Kansas City. They won five straight. It feels like four degrees right now as we send it down to Jay Feely, who knows that the kicking part of this today could be very important in these uh, gusty conditions, Jay. For sure, Jim. And you know that the cold and the wind is certainly going to have an impact. So the number one priority for both special teams units is ball security. But the Steelers know to win this game, they have to win the special teams battle. Keep an eye on Miles Killebrew, all pro, pro bowler, four blocks in his career on punt. He wants to have an impact. And Tony, they're going to be aggressive. Try to steal a possession, maybe a fake, big return, something to try to have a big impact on the outcome of this game. I think you're dead right there, Jay. I think that the way the Steelers win this game, they got to possess the ball, and they've got to steal a possession. Expect the unexpected if you're the Bills on every punt situation. Well, the Bills defer here at the top. Pittsburgh was 10th in the conference before they went on that three-game win streak, and Buffalo was 11th in the conference when it came out of its bye at the beginning of December and vaulted all the way to the two with its division-winning performance at Miami last week. So here we go. Pass getting it started on a line drive boot. It's fielded at the 10-yard line. And Warren's going to take it to about the 30. 